In a small town, there's an average teenager played by an adult who's extremely good looking, but somehow only kinda popular and dark and brooding, even though she has everything going for her, who just wants something more. Stephanie Plainface. Only when hell literally breaks loose can she feel something other than dark, sad, angry, angsty, sorrowful, frustrated, acting range of a JPEG emotion. Here comes Ryan Crucible, 300 year old teenager who likes smelling things, I don't know. You smell different. Soon enough, she gets over the smelling thing and sparks fly. There's something different about you, Ryan. Apart from the smelling thing. Don't know what you mean. Again and again, their love is tested. But, yeah, I'm a, I'm a vampire. Huh, okay. So you gonna ask me to prom or not? You want some pizza? Uh, I don't really like pizza. You don't like pizza? I literally murdered and drained our math teacher and you're reacting over pizza. Oh, I can't stay mad at you. <laughs> Apart from maybe the fact you keep stealing my mascara. This is who I am! Just when it couldn't get any more action-packed, trouble arrives in the shape of a stranger. Hey Stephanie, have you seen the new guy? He's hairy, I'm your best friend! Uh, no. Who is he? Here he comes now! What a coincidence! I call dibs! The reason for conflict in the plot, Jake Topless. Uh, but you're not topless. The stunt guy does most of that. Wow. Watch as Jake and Ryan square off for Stephanie's love through intense stares. Stop staring at each other. I think it's hot. I auditioned for the lead. Also, I Dibs, but that's fine. And you'll have to see the fight of the millennium. I've had it with you, Jake Topless. Stop smelling me! Yeah! <laughs> Don't miss Harry Blood Sucking Love. Wait, is that seriously what we settled on? I know I'm just the guy with the voice, but like, that's seriously it. Are you listening? Damn. Uh. Yeah.